STEPS is a private center for students ages two and a half to 21 that may have intensive needs for communication, academics, or social emotional interventions. Chips. The Prox Talker is an augmentative communication device that allows the user to experience both the tactile component of the picture exchange um, communication systems with the audio output of a tablet device. And the student is able to do this using the RFID tags and selecting that, using that tactile component, feeling the tag, then using motor planning and putting the tag on the location buttons and seeing the visual component of language. Danny is 17, and Danny does have an interest in the iPad screen time. He does find computers and tablets reinforcing. He has not been successful in transferring that to acquiring is language. And being 17 and being stagnant using picture communication push, and limited push. signs and not taking interest yes. in communication of the iPad, um, he was really lost. Hat. And the only way he could express his frustrations or wants and needs yes. was through self-injurious behavior. Now, we've just started introducing the Prox Talker to Danny, and he goes from being able to select just one single tag to make a request to going through a multiple page array of tags. Um, so he really got that connection and was motivated, and he really likes chips. His mom has been saying that he is coming home so much happier. He's not as stressed. He doesn't appear as frustrated. Um, and we've heard this from similar students that have been working on the Prox Talker as well. It's finally I have this voice. Finally I have this way. It's I can see that it's coming. I'm going to be able to have a lot more control over what it is that I want. What we found is for a lot of our students, when we give them choices, we're just assuming that they want that. But now I have that voice to say, no, I don't want those chips. I want the, you know, the salt and vinegar chips. Really having that power of choice in your life is huge. Airplane. Airplane. Great matching. They sound the same. Dominic has been with the Prox device um, for a while, but now we're introducing with him the 3D object tags because Dominic is a student has has grown with the Prox, but he's still stagnant in that traditional method of phases. And we're also unclear of maybe there are some other factors. So we're just introducing right now 3D object tags Dominic. for him. Find the same. Language is so abstract, and students that have developmental disabilities, especially on the autism spectrum, Airplane. they struggle with abstract concepts. Um, language is the most intangible concept that we have, and it's required for almost all of your life needs. So this is a way of making it concrete. So language can be tangible, where the iPad can't offer that touch feel. Airplane. You can have the voice output, but you don't have the scanning with the touch and and pushing down. Having all that input really helps make language concrete. Tell me. Yeah. yeah. Chips. This type of technology has made great changes in the way that we look at each child's communication needs as well as their programming needs. It's helped us look at the meaningfulness of communication and how to make sure that when we're teaching how to use communication devices with students that it always has that value and that motivation, not necessarily having to make sure that we're going through each one of these abstract concepts, making sure that we're always having that value. Chips.